Another high scoring day for Seattle's offense, but they come up short in New Orleans. 39-32 against the Saints. This game uh, hurts uh, all of us because we know that we had a chance to win the football game. I never take, take anything away from the Saints. They did a great job and did a lot of cool things in this game to win it. Um, but we had, we had our chances and we had all kinds of opportunities to, to get this done. And uh, there was too many things that went wrong that um, just gave them another opportunity here and there. And, and uh, we made it too easy on them. It's really, these games are so hard and they're so difficult to win. And if you screw it up and you give them something, then uh, you're, you're, you're fighting against the whole time. A special team's mistake in the second quarter resulted in a Saints lead when Kamara scored two plays later. We're just changing the, the launch point, something we've been working on. We've been practicing it for a long time and uh, we went with it there and it, it got really cloudy and it upfield like it. We don't expect it to, and um, he felt like he had to duck up, and he was hesitant to kick the ball where everybody, all the people were, and uh, he saw it, and so he took off. In the second quarter, Seattle capitalizes on a Saints turnover. With 20 seconds left in the half, Geno Smith caps a quick scoring drive by finding Tyler Lockett in the end zone. Seattle the first led 19-17 you know, at left. half. Um, <clears throat> really, we're trying to get a play out of bounds, and if they gave us the look we wanted, we were going to take a shot at the end zone. Uh, they gave us two-man outside leverage, and uh, it was a perfect call. Um, was able to make an adjustment for Tyler. He ran a great route um, and got into the end zone. First and foremost, like I said, like God gets all the glory. Um, I think just going into that situation, I think you know it shows a lot of trust in, in, in the offensive coordinator and Pete and our players, just because we have no timeouts. You know, it's kind of a must out of bounds situation or it's a take a look situation. If it's not there, just throw the ball out of bounds so we can be able to get a field goal. But Geno stood in the pocket. The line did a great job being able to block. Um, DK did a great job even being able to run his route because people don't understand when you're out there running routes, everything is in correlation of us working together. And so, you know, when everybody's doing their job, Geno threw an amazing ball. And, you know, I just had probably the easiest job, which was to catch it, because everybody else had the hardest job to make it happen. But the Hawks fumble on the opening drive in the second half, and that opened the door for the Saints to grab the momentum. They score just a few plays later. We lose the ball in the turnover. You guys saw that way closer than I saw it. Um, we thought his elbow was on the ground, but I, I, couldn't, I couldn't see. That's a huge, huge turnover play right there. Um, the defense had the, that situation, then we had the punt situation that really put us in, in bad spots. The, the game shouldn't have been like that. You know, it should have been um, without those, those things that we gave them. Ken Walker III was forced to carry the load in the second half after an injury to Rashad Penny, and he found the end zone for the first time as a pro. He races 69 yards to pay dirt. I just read my keys. You know, the offensive line did a great job of opening up, uh, opening up the hole. Uh, then I seen T. Lockett, and he stayed on his block, and Eskridge, Eskridge did a great job on his block. You know, they made it easier for me, and then from there I just ran. I don't remember the exact play. I just know that we run in a mid zone to the left. Um, I just know, and you know, before it was kind of he was kind of frustrated on a, one of the wide zones that we had down in the red zone uh, that he only got a few yards on, and he was upset. And so a few plays later on the sideline, I said, "Dude, it's going to pop eventually. Just just wait, just be patient." popped and you know knew it was going to happen for him so I'm really happy for him if that happened. The Seahawks knew they would face Andy Dalton at quarterback but Taysom Hill did some serious damage running for over 100 yards and three touchdowns. When you got Mike Thomas out, Jarvis Landry out and a couple others we already knew what the game plan was going to be around going to be around 41, 83, 7 and uh that's just what they came and did, you know what I mean? Ran it down our throat, and that's just that's something that's unacceptable, and we got to know that going into the game. Tell me if you've heard this one before. Tariq Woolen interception. For a third straight week, the rookie recorded a pick. I mean, this dude is going to be great, man. Like, you see it early. I don't know how he ends up being a fifth-round pick or however it was, but I think he's going to be great, man. Kobe as well. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to just being able to play with them. And um, just being able to see what their future holds for them, you know, just in this game of football and life. And so, uh, yeah, but I get to go against them every day. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Hey, lastly, what do you tell the offense going into next week? Just just as far as either maintaining it or getting better. Just keep playing. I mean, this ain't college where you lose three games and you can't go to the playoffs. This is the NFL where anything can happen on any given week, on any given Sunday. As long as we continue to keep playing the way that we've been playing, 
we, we can be able to fix the pieces. We can be able to learn from the from the um, bad stuff that happens. But the one thing that I can say is everybody's playing and we're putting drives together. We're doing great things. We just got to be able to make sure that, you know, we stay in it mentally. Seattle returns home next week, looking to get back on track in front of the home fans following today's loss in New Orleans, 39-32 the final.